and welcome back to You Read John in 120. I am Jeff Cliff, and this is a series of 120 things that I learned as a student of computer science at the University of Virginia. And so the lesson of the day here uh, is actually another simple one. You'll notice that we're starting to hit some really simple ideas in these past couple of videos that haven't been quite as long as the others, but uh, the idea here is that life sucks when you don't know anything and that you don't know or, or and you know that you don't know anything. Let's say that again. So life sucks when you don't know anything and you know that you don't know anything. So you're, you're basically in a state of known ignorance. So we, we can you know, determine whether or not later on whether life sucks when you don't know anything and you don't know that you don't know anything. You, you might be able to get away with some blissful ignorance in that case. But you can get very quickly to the point where the foundations of your worldview are shaken. And especially if you take some philosophy classes and you actually go to the extent of reading Descartes and reading some of Plato uh, and actually having someone who walks with you along the description of what exactly Descartes was trying to do uh, or maybe even going to the point of you know, gold manners, uh, some of the you know, early epistemology stuff and the, the, you know, defeating even something as simple as the, the view, the Aristotelian view of epistemology. But you know, even if you can get to the point where you believe something, you you put a lot of you know, thought and work into believing that thing, and then suddenly there are reasons to doubt that you were looking at it correctly, and you're in this kind of global doubt as Descartes would have, you know, had you put in, where you're suddenly skeptical of everything, and you're not really sure where to turn to. You know, suddenly people betrayed you. People you thought you could trust suddenly are, are, are no longer there for you. Or, or the institutions that you thought would be around forever are just suddenly swept away like a sandcastle being washed out over by waves from a rising tide. Um, you know, maybe the, the, you know, the, the people, in, you know, your girlfriend leaves you or something like that. And suddenly you're, you're, you know that you don't know how to address this situation, how to find love in your life. Uh, but you don't know what to do about it. And you're in a situation where you, you know, you don't know the, the what, what, what is the point of even being alive anymore? You know, what is the point of, of showing up to, to school or to, to, to doing the things that you're doing in life? Did, did you ever really think about why you were doing them? You know, why, why have you got to this point where you're, you know, you're in this habit, you've taken that 10% time of your life every day, whatever it is you do, you, you've made this habit, this life, this, 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 Thing that works for you, you know, you, you read a little bit about pragmatism, perhaps going back to the pragmatism video, uh, and you know, maybe you've got some money to kind of survive on its coast for a little while, or well, maybe you don't. You just, you know, you're out of money, you're broke, and you're not exactly sure how to rectify that situation, or even if you could, what you would do with it, how to get to the point where you have some kind of a sustainable uh, business model or some s sustainable work life where you can kind of build that life. You're not really sure what to do, how to address that situation. And yes, you can work hard. Yes, you can, you can accomplish things if you work hard. Uh, but you really have to get to a point where you start asking yourself, why are you doing this? Why are you making the decisions that you're making? Why are you driven to, to build the communities that you're building or to, to, to you know, build the, the accomplishments that you're accomplishing? Is it just because you're good at it? Is it just because that is the default and that's the decision that you've, you've made for yourself um, or, or that someone has made for you? Or did you choose that? You know, going back to the, the you know, freedom, horrible freedom video, making decisions is painful. It's hard to do. But it's uh, the alternative to it is kind of flowing with the default. And that default, if you know that you don't know why you're doing it, can really suck. It can, it can be, you know, physically painful to to experience this kind of uh, nausea or this, this this perception that you're not really sure why you're doing anything or if what you're doing is even working and if you're going to survive by doing it or if you're going to you know thrive by doing it. If none of it really makes sense, you're in this you know very difficult situation where you're not really sure whether or not you're going to make an impact or what kind of an impact you're going to make. You're, you're you know, not sure exactly where to turn to get information about your problems. Um, and yes, you can work hard at, you know, if you've got something tangible to work at. But again, it's, it's not always clear. You can definitely get into situations where you're not sure 
that what you're working on is actually going to do anything for you. And you know, this situation, this place that you can be, it, it, it's an it's a really unpleasant place to be. And so, what what is important? What what can you get from this? What what can you learn from this? The fact that this is such an unhappy place to be. Well, one, you know, your your emotions should be kind of cluing you in, and you should be looking for those foundational bits of knowledge, and that they are important to have, and that you can. When you have them, you can start to build from them. The other is, going back to the Horrible Horrible Freedom video, you can start making these choices. You can start experimenting, building up your, your knowledge of what you should be doing, you know, talking to other people and involving other people in the decisions in your life. Not because they just happen to be the people that you grew up with or that happen to be around in the right place at the right time for you to kind of encounter them, but because you choose for them to be in your life and because you want them to accomplish their goals just as you'd like help with yours. Not purely on you know, a, a pragmatic or a selfish matter, but because it's you know, worthy of an individual to participate with others in the building of their and your life. It is worthy of you as an individual to not be ignorant of the conditions that govern the laws, going back to the democracy video, the laws that govern the universe itself. It is not worthy of an individual to be content with being ignorant of those laws. It is not worthy of an individual to kind of just sit back and live in this really kind of unfortunate place of ignorance and darkness. If you can get to the point where you're willing to, to get out of it, where you're willing to work to not necessarily just be ignorant, not be content with being ignorant, but to step by step remove yourself from that ignorance, to learn things about your situation, to learn things about the world, learn things about the people around you, to not, not even just necessarily treat them as people, but to have them as having lives that are worth knowing about for their sake, not just for your sake, but for their sake, for their sake as people who are worth knowing about. Uh, it's worth, you know, if you're going to work, if you're working every day just to you know, make ends meet, great, talk to your coworkers, find out about their lives, find out about you know, what they want to do with their life. Find out with what they perceive themselves to be. Find out what about you know their dreams. See if you have any part in that. See if you can help them take steps towards the things that they also want to accomplish. See if you can. Don't necessarily do it, but just think about it. Have it as an option. Make it so that it's part of your environment, these social facts. Make it so that you can understand not just yourself, but yourself in relation to them. Not just the universe, but your relation be from or between yourself and that universe. Find out things about yourself, find out things about the universe, find out things about your country. Take up some books, read some books. You make it an old book. You know, go back to your Sean Kennedy suggested the Dao Te Ching. You know, there's a lot of really good knowledge in you know the, the really old writings that have a lot of smart people have written for, throughout the, the thousands of years. You can learn what they thought too. It doesn't hurt, and you know. Yes, it takes time. It takes work to do some of these things, but it takes work to get out of a state of ignorance in general. And the further away from the state you can get, the happier, the happier you will find that you will be. And yes, there are some unfortunate truths. Yes, there are things, there are parts of yourself as an individual that you would probably not, or rather, not know, and that it would be easier, uh, at least in the short term, to not know it. But going back to the R video, yes. You can use those unfortunate facts about yourself to better yourself. To put yourself in a position where you are no longer making the same mistakes. To put yourself in a position where your character has improved from one who would make the mistakes and would make the judgment calls uh, that would affect people in a negative way to ones that would affect people in a positive way. See if you can get to that point. See if you can see as clearly as possible the mistakes that you are making, the mistakes that your group is making, the mistakes if your country is making the mistakes that the world, the species, even all living things make. Learn about thermodynamics, learn about math, learn about the things that can be usable to solve problems. Keep a list of problems, keep a list of unsolved problems. See if you can, every time you learn something, go back to the, can you use the result? Can you use the result? Can you use this new bit of information to clarify the things that you used to be ignorant about? Manage your ignorance and try to get out of it. Don't just be happy being ignorant. Don't just turn on the television and believe whatever the television wants you to believe. Same thing, you know, we're finally starting to get to the point where there's more people on the internet than there are watching television. Awesome. 
great. The internet puts so much knowledge at your fingertips if you want it to be there. If you choose to just not you know, turn that porn off, turn the you know, silly videos, cat pictures, whatever it is that you're you know, spending time on, sure you can go back to it later, but just learn something. Learn something about the world. Go to Wikipedia, hit random, and learn something random, see, and then don't just learn that random thing, but see if you can connect that to your life. See if you can learn the context the things that relate that thing that you just learned to your existence. See if you can bring it home, make it meaningful. See if you can get to the point where you can connect it with what you already know. Because, again, if you can lead yourself out of this state of ignorance, if you can lead yourself out of this, this painful place to be, uh, where your life has no meaning on its own, you know, great, because that is what we want to get you to the point where you have the, the ability to, to live and to thrive on your own accord, not necessarily because other people, you know, don't believe what I'm saying. Don't don't listen to me. You know, go out and learn on your own to you know, break break things on your own, build things on your own. You don't do it because I told you to do it. Do it because you are interested in doing it. Do it because this state of being sucks. It sucks to be in. It sucks to, to live in. And you can always get out of it if you choose to. That choice, and that choice I leave up to you. So, uh, as usual, if you have any questions, uh, this is kind of a broad topic. You know, it's, it's the broadest topic possible, practically. Uh, so, throw me your questions. I'll see what I can do with them. And uh, there should be a Bitcoin donation address in the bottom here to support this video series and other projects that I might be involved in. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. I will see you next video.